Crazy Shepherd. Crazy Shepherd is a channel featuring the delightfully quirky German Shepherd Bear, and it chronicles his antics. And there are many. Crazy Shepherd unknowingly does all kinds of amusing product reviews, like uh, toys, treats, and even products his mom uses to not get Crazy Shepherd all over her car seat. There are also occasional live streams and sing-alongs with Bear. I hear he may be the next Paul Verratti. Get it? Paul Verratti? Okay. <laughs> yeah, Bear the Crazy Shepherd is always up for a good time, especially when a box is involved. But then Crazy Shepherd puts his toys away and gets serious when things turn a bit, um, paranormal, I believe is the word. Just a warning to anyone who watches these particular videos that the creepy factor is way high. Crazy Shepherd pauses his games a lot to look for the paranormal entities he is certain are there. If this is your kind of thing, you may be interested to know that Crazy Shepherd is shown on the Travel Channel. I think video 81. If you want to see that episode... Comment one of Crazy Shepherd's videos to get the exact time. Um, I know the Travel Channel's doing a paranormal video series, um, I think 80 to 100, um, in a week and a half from now. Um, I don't know the exact dates, I just know it's soon. There's a lot of variety on Crazy Shepherd. Sometimes Bear does the recording and he'll show us what he's watching, like the squirrel who is half a second away from becoming a hawk's lunch. He went from potential bird food to stealing it. Sometimes there are times when Crazy Shepherd doesn't want to do a thing, and he doesn't. And then it's back to normal, exploring, getting into mischief. <laughs> right, Bear? Check out Crazy Shepherd and see what Bear's getting into next. Zesty Girl. All the way from Sydney, Australia, Michelle May is a health and wellness coach, and she practices the law of attraction, and she helps people who have, as she puts it on her website, mamabelly.com, it's a term fondly known as wobbly bits. <laughs> yeah, she has a shapewear product line that help with those. Some aspects of Zesty Girl resonate more with the female mindset, but if you're close enough to 40 and over, You'll get a lot out of this channel, too. If you're into shopping hauls, Zesty Girl has frequent uploads on her trips to Aldi, Costco. You know, it's possible that Costco may be Michelle May's middle name. TJ Maxx, Target, and, of course, there's thrifting hauls. And she loves showing us how she uses the products that she finds the deals on. And some, well, you know, let's just say that I never had any use for coconut flour until recently. Zesty Girl shares a lot of great recipes, in fact, so if feeding a family of six is on your mind, there are a lot of cooking videos to watch. Okay, so why is this channel called Zesty Girl? Is it the dancing? <laughs> that might just be my new screensaver. Is it to remind us to keep that zest for life? Maybe manifest goals into achievable realities. Zesty Girl is all about helping others to live their best life at whatever age bracket you find yourself. This is not some preachy self-help channel. Michelle May genuinely wishes to help anyone who desires it to live with intention and passion. So much so that, at the time of this recording anyway, her website was offering a free challenge. Um, so you need to go over there and check it out for yourself. Not to promote any particular service, just to let you know that if there's a website link and it's on your YouTube channel, I have checked it out. And one of you has a FetLife account linked and it's probably in your best interest to not link it on your YouTube. But hey, that person never comments on Sunday shoutouts anyway. You won't find a single family inappropriate thing on her channel. Why just be salty when you can be zesty, girl? Petway Family Farmstead. Petway Family Farmstead is a multi-generational homesteading family in Georgia. 
The pet ways you'll see the most among their current video spread are James, Lauren, and Landon. But since they are very new on the YouTube scene, I'm talking less than three months, you know, the ink is barely dry on their terms of agreement, you'll probably see a lot more soon. But that's not stopping Petway Family Farmstead from getting work done, recording videos, and commenting on other channels' videos. And they have a, quite a bit going on. Chickens quail, pigs, and grandbabies. They make for an interesting farmstead life. Right, James? You want to talk food preservation, livestock maintenance, and husbandry? Pasture piggies and dog skyscraper hybrid things? Seriously, <laughs> that's a large bushel basket of dogs. Did they move the pigs with a dolly and a box? Oh, and what happened when they tried to dehydrate quail eggs? I know it's an incubator, Lazy Pond Farm. So, don't miss an episode of Petway Family Farmstead, y'all. Doggone antics and paranormal oddities. Manifesting an intentional life in shopping halls in Sydney. Georgia five-acre multi-generational farmsteading. Are these your people?